and mechanical properties of fluids first of all what is a fluid fluid nothing but a substance which can flow basically we know that liquid can flow and gases can flow so collectively liquids and gases are called here fluids these fluids having some common properties every liquid and gas can exert the pressure and also these liquids and gases having viscosity property and liquids and gases having the all liquids having the surface tension property now in this lesson we are going to discuss about uh, different properties of fluids like uh, pressure viscosity surface tension surface tension is the property only exhibited by the liquids but pressure and viscosity are the common properties for liquids and gases first of all we discuss about uh, pressure basically how does a pressure is defined pressure is nothing but it is the force applied per unit area nothing but how does a fluid or a liquid exerts the pressure let us try to understand now we consider a container which contains a liquid or a gas a fluid in this we consider an object now this is the object on this object at any point the force acts perpendicular to its surface in all directions this object experiences force in all directions perpendicular to its surface now how do we find the pressure acting on it now we find the pressure acting on it like this pressure is equals to the fo formula is a normal force by area normal force also called thrust now this is the normal force it's also called thrust the thrust acting per unit area is called here pressure pressure is equal to normal force exerting per unit area or thrust exerting per unit area is called here pressure pressure exerted by the fluid so this pressure is a scalar even though force is a vector and uh, the cgs and si units of pressure are like this here cgs unit of pressure is a uh, for force cgs unit is dyne for area centimeter square dyne per centimeter square and si unit is newton per meter square or uh, pascal pascal and to measure the atmospheric pressure we have a common unit that is a atmosphere atm is the unit to measure the atmospheric pressure here the relation between one atmosphere and a pascal is like this one atmosphere is equals to 1.013 into 10 power 5 pascals it is a relation between atmosphere and pascals here especially atmosphere is the unit of pressure which is used to measure the atmospheric pressure and this is about the pressure pressure nothing but the normal force acting per unit area is called here pressure then one more common property is there that is density how do we define the density density is nothing but it's a mass per unit volume mass by volume density of a fluid is defined as a mass per unit volume mass by volume its units are cgs unit is a gram per centimeter cube and si unit is a kilogram per meter cube and this density also a scalar it is not a vector now here we define the relative density this relative density is defined as the ratio of density of the object to the density of water at a 4 degree celsius relative density is equals to density of object divided by density of water at 4 degree celsius this relative density has no units because uh, units of density will be cancelled 
Now relative density is equal to density of object divided by density of water. Relative density of water is 1. Why? Because uh, relative density of water is nothing but density of water by density of water is cancelled. You get 1. So relative density for water is 1. We define the relative density like this.